Okay, so here we have the engine. So where I'm up to. And what I need is, um, obviously along with making this boiler, boiler tubes in there, I need to make a water tank. So we go inside here. So this plate lifts out. With those, just a bit awkward. There we are, so that comes out. So the water tank's gonna go down here and then up here. Um, I figured I'm gonna do copper welding, TIG welding for the boiler. Um, this is an old boiler I saved from my mother's. She had a gas boiler put in. So I'm just literally just gonna get a pair of snips now and cut this down and make it into a load of sheets or a couple of sheets or whatever. Then how difficult it is to cut. Um, clean it up with wire wool, like really thin wire wool, and uh, use that then to weld up a water tank and you know if we've got anything else I can make with it. Obviously nothing that's gonna hold any pressure. But I figured it's not gonna erode then. Um should be ideal. I mean I could make it from stainless but you know I'll have to buy the sheet then and this is just here not being used. I saved it just for originally I was gonna make um I've got some little bird houses here. I'm fancy making a like a quite a fancy one. And just do like a little lead a copper roof for it so if there's enough left i'll keep keep that for that so i'll set up a camera now and just chop this out That should keep me going for a while now. I'll just cut all these little uh, ports off them and then I don't know, work out what I need for sheets. I'm just going really bright. Um, yeah, so that should be pretty cool. Might be able to find some use for this as well. I don't know what gauge it is. Should have to come use up for something like a siphon or something. I don't know why it keeps going really bright. Light must be up on there. Right, so I've cut all them off now. Obviously, cut all the valves out and everything, so we've got bits of random sheet here, and then there's a large sheet there. So, plenty to work with there. So, what I'm thinking. This wire wool. Years ago, I worked with a uh, for a building firm. We had a um, we used to do a lot of plumbing anyway. Obviously, when you're brazing copper, it needs to be clean. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to braze this yet. I'll take it with that electrical cable, like armored core that I just stripped out. Stripped a load of that. Obviously, made it into a TIG wire for copper welding. actually work really well so but anyway
gitu. Ich habe einen Hammer. Right, so there's a piece of copper. I just cleaned up. <clears throat> you just seen. Just wiped it down with a bit of thinners. So the inside is obviously. See, that's come out quite nicely there. So hopefully this will be usable. I can make the uh, the water tank out of it. <clears throat> so I'll get all this prepped and cleaned up and then I can show the process of making that. I'll probably make a cardboard one to first and test fit it into the tender. At least it'll be all prepped.